Well, good morning, Catalina Foothills Church. It's Pastor John Stone, and uh, it was really sweet to uh, have see so many of you and be with you at our Easter services yesterday. And it was a glorious day as we celebrated the resurrection of Christ. Um, this coming up Sunday, we are returning to Matthew and the Sermon on the Mount. And here's what it says. Uh, you have heard that it was said, eye for an eye and tooth for a tooth. But I tell you, do not resist an evil person. If anyone slaps you on the right cheek, turn to them the other cheek also. And if anyone wants to sue you and make and take your shirt, hand over your coat as well. If anyone forces you to go one, one mile, go with them two miles. Give to the one who asks you and do not turn away from the one who wants to borrow from you. You've heard that it was said, love your neighbor and hate your enemy. But I tell you, love your enemy and pray for those who persecute you, that you may be children of your Father in heaven. He causes his Son to rise on the evil and the good and sends rain on the righteous and the unrighteous. If you love those who love you, what uh, reward will you get? Are not the, even the tax collectors doing this? And if you greet only your own people, what are you doing more than others? Do not even pagans do this. Be perfect, therefore, as your heavenly Father is perfect. So the last sentence, quite honestly, is tough. Be perfect as your heavenly Father is perfect. I think at the heart of what is being taught us here, both in an eye for an eye, and, and really some, heck, be, uh, it's really difficult. Be perfect as your heavenly Father is perfect, but also don't resist an evil person. What we're being taught here is that this call to love our enemies is a call to model God and to model Christ. And we need to take it very, very seriously. And what I mean by that is, elsewhere in the scriptures it says, while we were Christ's enemies, while we were God's enemies, he sent Jesus to die for us and Christ died for us while we were the enemies of God. Before we were converted before we had faith in Christ, we were at enmity with God. We were, as it were, at war with God. We were against God. And he came and he gave us the Holy Spirit, which gave us faith and turned us to him. And we, he did that to us while we were his enemies. So he, right, he demonstrated this. We slapped at him as non-Christians or we tried to take his good things he gives us in the world. And he, he did not resist us, even though we were evil. So in this first part, he's saying, when you were evil, God didn't resist you. Don't resist evil people. Be imitators of God, but also love your enemies. Love those who persecute you. Pray for those who persecute you. Because in this way, you're demonstrating that you're children of God, and you're also learning what it's like that God loved us, that God uh, loved us when we were his enemies. And he makes this amazing point that God's goodness in things like rain or God's goodness in things like um, in love are indiscriminate in this sense. That he, he sends rain, this blessing of rain, and both Christians and non-Christians do it. He doesn't just bless Christians. He actually blesses non-Christians. Um, and that rain produces food. That rain produces water to drink. And God's love is being demonstrated both to those who love him and those who hate him. Um, God's love, God's grace is, be, is being extended to those who love him and to those who hate him, even if they reject that grace. And so this is a real, uh, this is a real line of de demarcation for Christians because his call to love our enemies, his call to do good to those who are doing evil to us, those who are persecuting us, is a fundamental moment when we begin to behave and we begin to follow and we begin to be like God. God was perfect. This is stunning. He is perfect in the way that he deals with everyone. And we are to follow that example and we are to care not only for our families and our friends, but for those who hate us. It's interesting, and this is important. We'll highlight this on Sunday. He says, if you love those who love you and you take care of those who take care of you, you're no different than the pagans, than the non-Christians. Loving your family and loving those who love you and greeting those of your own tribe is not Christian. It's just human, he says. What is Christian is when we say, no, we love our enemies. We give and care to those who take advantage of us at times. Certainly in our benevolence at times, people will take advantage of us, and they should because we 
took advantage of Christ when we were outside of Christ. This idea of loving, loving our enemies the same way we love ourselves, loving our enemies even when they hate us, is what is a marker and a sign that we have really understood the life of God. What a powerful passage. Look forward to working through it this week and being with you on Sunday. I hope you have a great week, and we'll see you soon.